sorry about that. I, uh, video stopped. Um, and I had to delete a few videos of, uh, my, <laughs> my cat when he was a little, a little kitten. And he had, um, a cast on his arm. Uh, so I think it was the only video I had of, of him in that. But I deleted it and figured, um, memories. I, I shouldn't latch myself onto memories. Because if you latch yourself onto memories, it keeps you from going forward into the future. So, it's like, have this experience, learn from this experience, and, and have that. But, don't let it keep you from progressing forward. Like, say, if I didn't delete it, I wouldn't be able to make this next video. And this next video could be the determining factor behind my life going two different ways. And they say that in this matrix, all realities in the history of time exist. And you can actually go back to those times and experience those. But it's with an astral projection. Uh, excuse me, an astral projection. And taking me right back to my experience, what was happening when my base and my sacred started blasting with energy as well, I started focusing on my third eye, right? And it... For some reason, um, like inside my head and my eyes were closed, uh, there were all these different colors, um, kind of like pixels almost, um, just inside my head, and I was trying to focus on this black dot, right? And it kept going in, like, away from wherever I, I thought to look, because I had my eyes closed, I was in every time I looked, or I thought to look, this dot moved to, like, a different part of whatever was my vision, whatever what I was looking at in at that time with my eyes, and um, what I wanted to do was go in that black hole for some reason. Uh, it was very hard for me to focus because I, I have been trained to have ADD via television, video games, constant look at my cell phone to track Facebook, uh, and Twitter, uh, check my text messages to, uh, see what everybody is doing, and then I go on Facebook to see what everybody is doing, even though I don't need to know when it, and it clogs up my head, and it keeps me from going forward. So, I still have things to work on before I think I will actually fully, completely be able to do what I want to do. And going back, my sacred chakra and my base chakra were blessed in energy, right? And I started focusing on my third head, and when I was looking at this black eye, it kept disappearing. Um, I don't know if this was because of my ADD or because this is uh, the design of my experience. Or the way it was supposed to happen, I don't know. Um, and then, um, I started, uh thinking about my uh, crown chakra, so I thought about my crown chakra, and it felt like, it felt like a hole there we go. popped up in my in the top of my head, and there I could feel like a beam of light shoot up. It didn't last very long, maybe one or two seconds, but it was definitely something I was feeling, but not with my physical body if that makes sense. I felt like it was deeper than my skin. I felt like it was deeper than my bones. Um, it's very hard to explain. But then, this lasted for about half an hour to 45 minutes, like I said. And I just stood there, and I was like, what just happened? And another thought popped in my head, like, I probably won't know for a while. See, I, I, I think, sorry, I don't know why I did it. Uh, David Icke, when he said after his experience, 
it was a few, it was a while after that experience that he actually knew what was happening to him. And so it's going to, I, I feel like it's going to be the same for me. Because I'm basing my experience off of his, because his is actually the only one in full detail that I've listened to that is sort of similar to mine. Um, except for his. I heard, actually heard a story um, on Project Camelot uh, a few months ago, actually, and I didn't listen to the full interview. I actually listened to only about six minutes of it. And the only part I heard of it was actually the the experience that he was explaining, so maybe there's a reason that I watched that video. So, after that happened, um, I got out of my trance. I was like, whoa, you know, time to get back to reality, you know, time to get back in the physical world. And then I came up, I came upstairs, and... What did I do? 